Well, here we are at work again. We're about to upgrade this. This is my desk laptop that I use. It's Dell Latitude 5520. And the problem with it is that I ran out of disk space because it's got a 250 gig SSD in it. I have found that 8 gigabytes of memory is not enough. So what I've got here is a 16 gigabyte upgrade. Now because I wasn't sure if this would be compatible with the existing module, I didn't go for a dual channel kit, I just went for this. This also has the added benefit of leaving open a potential future upgrade to 32 gigabytes if I decide that's needed. I don't think it will be for this, but you never know. I also have this one terabyte SSD, which I've already cloned the OS over to. Now, I am suspecting I'm going to run into a problem there because this apparently has BitLocker enabled, and I did not know that until now, so that might be a problem, but I guess we'll find out together. But I think in order to do this, I'm going to have to pull out all of the screws on the bottom. There's a lot of videos out there about these things and taking them apart, but a lot of people won't actually tell you how to take the bottom off. I will. Even though you got all those screws, Dell couldn't make this easy. So it's got little plastic snaps in it as well. So take a plastic, and I do mean plastic because otherwise we'll scratch the hell out of it. Plastic tool, go underneath it, and you can lift up on all those things. But this reveals basically everything that we need to see. Including our memory, and our SSD, which is right there. Okay. So, I've installed the new SSD, and what I've done is I've used the screw there because this does support two of them. And I've put this little plastic bit here back because obviously the original SSD was small. And I don't want to lose this if I ever want to put that back or I want to use another one that's smaller, etc., etc. I've also installed the memory. Before I go any further, I'm going to flip this right side up, power it up, and make sure that it actually works. Well, wow, look at how dirty that is. But our test here is twofold. Number one, does it power on? And number two, does it boot? Should pop up a message saying that the amount of system memory has changed. If this works. That's taken an awful long time. Wonder what that's all about. I wonder if it's unhappy about running without its bottom cover. I don't know. Oh, here it comes. Okay, the amount of system memory has changed. Let's go into setup here. And I'm going to check this and just make sure that everything is okay. There's a 16 gigabytes of memory that we just put in. Single channel, yes. So the performance isn't going to be as good as if it were dual channel, but I want to leave open the possibility of upgrading this to 32 gigs in like a couple years or whatever. Okay, let's see if it boots. That's not very promising. Okay, well I went into the one-time boot menu. Updates are underway. But I went into the one-time boot menu and selected the new SSD. Apparently I needed to change the boot order. Which I suppose I should have checked, but I didn't. So I guess now I gotta wait for this. But it looks like it's working, so I can probably put the back cover back on this and call it good. One other thing that's maybe worth mentioning. These screws seem to be captive. Or at the very least, I couldn't get them out of the actual plate on the bottom here. So, 
there it is back in place and I think with that it's pretty much it successful upgrade